Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see how to integrate ESP32 board with Cindric Pro platform and Alexa. Cindric Pro platform is the IoT platform for home automation. And the Amazon Alexa as you know, it is a famous platform through which you can interact with your devices. So let us see how to implement this. First we need to search Cindric Pro in the Google and click here on the first link. So that opens this page. If you are new to this platform then uh, create your account. Do log into your account by clicking over here. I have already logged into my account. So this is the dashboard page for my account. I haven't added any device over here. So that is why it is showing empty. Let us focus on the credentials. This we will be using in the coding part. Now let us click on the devices. we are going to add a new device so click here on add device enter the device name as ESP switch description anything I have written operate switch to turn LED on leave these things as it is and click here on the next click here on the next without doing any change click on next button again click here on the save button now this is the device id this is the app key and this is the app secret key we will be using it in the coding part so now open the Arduino IDE just go to tools then click on the manage libraries search here Cindric Pro so this is the library which you need to install along with the dependencies like Arduino JSON and WebSocket I have already installed this library so I am not going to install it again click here on the close and now click here on file then examples then go to Cindric Pro then to relay and select relay over here so this is the code for our project we need to enter the SSID of our Wi-Fi network so I am going to enter the Wi-Fi credentials over here So this is the SSID and password for my router. Now we need to enter the app key. Let us go to the dashboard then to the credential. Copy the app key from here. Paste the app key over here we need the app secret key so again we will be going to the credential page and we will be copying this app secret key so 
so paste it over here then we need to enter the device ID so go to the devices this is our device ID just copy it from here and paste it over here so we will set this relay pin as pin number 2 of the ESP32 board to which the LED is connected we will be operating LED instead of the relay so now our code is ready so we will connect the ESP32 board with the PC and then upload the code into the ESP32 board Ke click here on the upload S sketch is getting compiled so code has got compiled and flashing of the code has started so now code is flashed into the ESP32 board now let us go to the Synric Pro dashboard so click here on the dashboard now you can see the device ESP switch is online and switch is in the off position so the LED on ESP32 board is also off so we will turn this switch on by clicking over here on turn on so switch is turned on and you can see LED on ESP32 board is also turned on we will turn off this switch by clicking over here on turn off now you can see LED on ESP32 board is also off as the switch is turned off Now let us go to the mobile phone and now go to the Google Play Store and search Synric Pro. You can download this app and install it. After doing this you also download the Alexa app. I have already downloaded the Alexa app and the Synric Pro app so I am not going to download it so this is the home page for my Synric Pro app so here you can see that the device is online over here also and switch is in the off position so the LED on ESP32 board is also off so click here on on now you can see the switch is turned on and the LED on ESP32 board is also on click here on the off so switch is turned off and the LED on ESP32 board is also off let us click on rooms from the room you can operate this switch you can turn the switch on and turn the switch off from over here let us visit the Alexa app if you are new to this app then you need to create the account in the Alexa app you need to click here on the discover skills and games
click here on your skills and search Sinric Pro over here click here on Sinric Pro click here on enable to use enter your email or user ID and password over here so that you are going to authorize Amazon to access your devices my Synric Pro account has been successfully linked to the Amazon Alexa as I have logged in into my Synric Pro account now let us go back click here on the devices click here on the plus sign click here on add new favorite click here on the ESP switch click here on done now this ESP switch is uh, added to our Alexa right now the ESP switch is off let us turn the switch on by clicking over here so now the ESP switch is on and you can see LED on the ESP32 board is on also on turn the switch off to turn off the LED so LED is off so the switch is off now click here on these three dots and click here on create routine we are going to create a routine now click here on plus sign so we are going to enter the routine name that is turn switch on click here on next click here on when this happens so click here on voice and right over here turn switch click here on next now click here on add action so click here on Alexa says click on the customized enter the response that is turning switch on click here on the next so Alexa will say turning switch on so click here on next again click here on add action again and go over here to smart home click here on ESP switch 
so setting will be on here so click next again click save so now our uh, first routine is ready then add next routine enter routine name as turn switch off click on next click here on when this happens click on the voice enter turn switch off click here on next click here on add action so click here on Alexa says click here on next so Alexa will say turning switch off that is the response from Alexa just click here on next again click here on add action now go to smart home click here on all devices select this ESP switch and turn this switch off so this time when we will say turn the switch off then the switch will be turned off and so the LED on ESP32 board will be turned off so click here on the next and save this routine so our both routines are ready so we will go back to the main page now we will tap over here and say Alexa turn switch on turning switch on so now you can see the LED on ESP32 board is on now again we will tap and say Alexa turn switch off now you can see LED on ESP32 board is off so now we have integrated successfully our ESP32 board with Synric Pro and Alexa so that's it for the day thanks for watching the video if you like the video then give me thumbs up please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel Thanks again. Have a good time.